gentleman from Virginia is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed. I, I strike the move to strike last word. Um, I was recognized. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised that we're getting a letter from uh, the White House uh, citing executive privilege the day before the hearing, the day before the markup. And as my colleague from California uh, knows, who's the ranking member on the subcommittee that I chair, responsiveness and accountability to oversight, this is common behavior for this White House. Wait until the last minute and then throw either an excuse uh, or a few pages of documents that have been subpoenaed, much of which is publicly available uh, to us to try and fend off uh, exactly this, uh, a contempt citation uh, for failure to comply. You know, it'd be one thing if it were the subcommittee that I chair. It'd be one thing if it were documents subpoenaed uh, at the Department of Health and Human Services or uh, Education uh, or the FTC about collusion with big tech, about the COVID uh, information that they tried to uh, limit availability on the internet. Um, there are so many different ways in which this administration has failed to be accountable, failed to be held accountable, and failed to provide uh, the information that we've requested that, that we're not surprised. But this is under an impeachment inquiry. Last year, we approved an impeachment inquiry in this body, which heightens that standard and uh, and actually increases the burden on the administration to show uh, that there is some reason why they should not be providing this information. And executive privilege does not is not applicable here. Uh, we have a request for a recording, as was stated earlier. The White House doesn't get to decide how that information is provided, which transcript is better, which transcript is appropriate. If we want one transcript, they give us that one. If we want the other one, they have to give us that one. Uh, this investigation is about whether the president willfully retained and disclosed classified materials after his vice presidency when he was a private citizen. Uh, actually, that was a conclusion. And then... HERS investigation also concluded that Vice President Biden had, quote, strong motivations, unquote, to ignore the rules for properly handling classified materials. Those strong motivations included an advance of $8 million that Biden had planned to receive for writing his memoir, a book he had decided to write, quote, months before leaving office. But why has the DOJ not sought to bring charges against the president for his actions, both as vice president and a private citizen? Well, for one reason, Special Counsel Hearn noted in his report that although there was sufficient evidence that Biden had willfully retained classified information, he wouldn't recommend taking it to trial because the president would appear to a jury to be, quote, sympathetic, well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory. But Hearn knew, knew that to make the $8 million book advance, he would need reminders. But many of those reminders are classified, and yet he shared them with his ghostwriter, Mark Zwaniter who holds no security clearance. Uh, as part of the impeachment inquiry in the Judiciary Committee's legislative oversight, the committee has sought information among, about, among other things, President Biden's mishandling of classified information. And uh, the DOJ refuses to provide the committee with these recordings. And Attorney General Garland not only confirmed uh, that this material has been turned over to the White House, and not us. He, he said this uh, during an appropriations testimony, uh, but failed to see the hypocrisy in allowing the White House access to these recordings, but not the Judiciary and Oversight Committees. So he rejected the notion that DOJ should release the recordings and said they needed to remain confidential, but at the time had no response as to how to provide the recordings to um, the White House uh, as to how he provided the recordings to the White House. So these recordings are important to our investigations. 
because of the superior evidence that the transcripts, that the recordings provide, because transcripts do not capture demeanor evidence. And there's evidence that the White House has doctored official transcripts to hide a verbal slip up from President Biden already. So if they're already doctoring official transcripts, we need the tapes. We need the tapes, and they have a, an obligation to provide them to us. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. The question occurs on the amendment offered by the gentleman <coughs> from New York. Those in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. 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 Opinion of the